thank you AFO.com for making me the winner of your Facebook competition of a 42 inch LG Smart TV. The system um, was very easy to put up and uh, delivery was exemplary. Um, even constant contact through email and the delivery driver, so receipt of the TV was um, made very easy. I'd like to now put you on to my husband who will show you some of the features. Thank you. Hello. As my wife mentioned, the television is very simple to set up. There are options to wall mount if you can purchase a separate wall bracket, or as we have chosen, there are quite elegant legs to sit the unit on a cabinet. There are plenty of input options on the back, which are all easily accessible. There are three HDMI ports. There are three USB ports on the back for your portable media. There's a SCAR input, which I have my satellite television linked up to, and there's one PC card slot too. And there's an option to feed your satellite directly in to the television as well for your free view. With our current setup, this picture quality is as good as can be expected via a standard SCART cable. You can further improve your picture quality by using the settings menu accessed via the remote. When first pressing the button, the first menu is for picture. To navigate the menus, press the right arrow on the, um, on the remote, and then down or up, and then OK to select what you want to do. It's picture mode. Now this contains various presets um, for viewing the, viewing the TV when you're using it in different ways. And you can easily tweak each one to your liking. As you are making these adjustments, as you can see the picture behind shows the adjustment if you were to select it. This is a real handy feature when you're moving about sliders and things. I personally have chosen to use ISF Expert 1. Through this there are some expert controls to fine tune your viewing experience. If you have the correct tools and software you can professionally calibrate your TV through this setting or get a professional in to do the job for you. If at any point you think you've done too much or you don't like what you've done, you can always revert back to um, default with a picture view set. I found without much effort I could considerably improve my picture quality using this function. I'd now like to talk a little bit about sound. And to be honest, with this set, I think the sound quality is one of the best I've encountered yet. And there's plenty of presets you can have a look play with, so let's have a look. I've already put it on sound, which is below picture. That's right. Smart sound, as you can see on the right, it gives you a little description of what it does. Assesses what content you're viewing and it will adjust the sound accordingly. And here, there's a bunch of presets optimised for music, or for a cinema, or for sport. It's a little bit gimmicky, but it does actually change the sound a bit. Don't know how much you can hear it on this video, but it does. Virtual Surround Plus. Now, this really does make quite a big difference when you turn it on. Again, you probably can't hear it on this video, but it does really widen the angle of the, of the sound. A real nice feature of this set is you can you can select how you want the sound to be outputted. Currently, it's set on TV speaker, which is good. The TV has an optical out, which is real nice um, if you've got an optical in at the other end of your sound system that you're plugged into. Unfortunately, I don't have an optical in on my sound system, so what I use is the headphone port, and when I I can just switch it to headphone, and then provided my system is on, which it is, I can turn that up a bit, and you see now it's coming through my. Could come as oh, it's coming through as my speaker summer, system, which is first really nice that you can do this in a setting like this and just leave the headphone ITV plugged in rather than having to keep pulling it out and plugging it back in whenever you want to use it. So I can go back to the TV speaker. Sound option setting, you can just do your standard left and right balance. Um, and there's a sound optimizer, which is better for wall mounted, better for understand or off. So we'll leave that on stand actually since we're using the stand. Really good, really happy with this sound of this today. Um, I hope you will be too. Right, so we've gone through picture quality, we've gone through sound quality, and I'll just go through a couple of other settings quickly we've got. Um, don't have the sound as your standard auto tuning for if you're using your free view setup, some time functions with the clock and sleep timers, etc. etc. That's pretty standard for televisions. You can parental lock the system, uh, various options. And network. Now I've got this hooked up using a Wi-Fi network connection. Really, really easy to set up. I mean, I'm no network expert. Just got a network connection, and here you can select whether you want it wired or wireless. 
click start we'll plug it in if it's wired leave it unplugged if it's wireless and start the connection and it just goes through the settings really really simply just wire wireless you've got to put in your wi-fi password that's it ready uh, you can check the status of your network soft ap this is a nice little feature of the telly that you can still connect wireless devices to it um which is pretty cool but i don't use it there's various variations of that so what i'll do now is i'll press the old smart tv button you get a nice little picture in picture on the left of what you were last watching and then on the right let's go back level is your premium apps it just works like it would on your computer really or on your console and um, you can select this menu here and it goes to like a little app store where you can select an array of different things and do a search that they main ones you can go to the top and do a premium search for an app that you're looking for um, I'll quickly show you Netflix just mainly I don't know if you'll see on the video again but the, you instantly see the difference in picture quality because obviously Netflix is going to be HD streaming it looks like a bit of Peppa Pig on so let's see them There you go. You, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but, but the HD on this telly, especially with the LED backlighting, really is really is good. I'm really happy with it. I'll back up. I'll exit Netflix. You uh, control all these menus just by using your left and right arrows again on your on your remote. Really simple. Use the back button if you want to keep going back. Um, time machine I don't think I've got this set up yeah you need an HDD <laughs> but you can obviously purchase this you can also access the internet just as a standard browser not the easiest thing to navigate you have to move the cursor around with the remote I'm not sure whether you can you might be able to plug in a USB keyboard I'm not sure not tried it maybe I should give it a try yeah, I'll give it a try. Well, what do you know? I've just uh, nipped upstairs and grabbed a pretty bog standard HP keyboard, and I can now type in my Google search. Well, that's your search for something. Um, um, AO.com. And there we go. Straight to AO.com. Um, I'm guessing you can probably plug a mouse in. I can't be bothered going back upstairs to see if you can, but if not, it's not too bad scrolling around with the buttons, especially with the especially with the keyboard now. It's a lot better. LG Smart. Ah, oh, I wish I could type. To be fair, I'm holding quite a few things. So there we go. Straight to the LG page. Connection's not brilliant, but this is probably my network more than anything, to be honest. So yeah, in general, aesthetically, the TV is really nice looking. It's got a real nice metal finish around the edge. There's literally about a centimetre and a half, two centimetres from edge of screen to edge of television. It's nice and thin. All in all, it looks really nice in, well, it looked great in any room, really. No complaints there. Really good. So I've gone through some of the basic settings and functions. I'm sure if you were to purchase this television, you'd find out a few other things yourself. There's a few features like Smart Share I haven't touched on, linked to separate devices and play videos and things. Uh, but in general, really, really happy with this television. Um, it's a great picture. It's my first LED backlit telly. Um, really, really happy with it. So thank you again, AO.com, and goodbye.